the 3DS and the Nintendo Wii U are shutting down their eShop. And Pokemon Bank might be free. Let's talk about it right now. What is up people, Dr. Rules is right here and welcome to a very special video. As you guys, people, or guys and girls know, the Nintendo 3DS and the Nintendo Wii U are shutting their doors on the eShop. Boo, boo, boo. I know a lot of people have moved on and now moved on to the Nintendo Switch and these have now been long forgotten. However, there are die-hard fans like myself who still play these games and also I researched and looked hard and hard and hard through the whole entire chart of what they're selling on the eShop. Now, tell you truthfully, people, there are a lot, a lot of games on there that are extremely expensive, but not worth it. But I'm going to tell you right now on what you should be buying and what you shouldn't be buying. So the first one I want to start off with is, of course, the Nintendo Wii U. Now, the Nintendo Wii U, as you guys know it, as you girls know it as well, that the Nintendo Wii U is actually getting extremely rare and extremely valuable. There are a good couple of games out there that is worth over the £100 mark for a physical copy. And I researched hard, very hard, for quite a few hours to try and find a digital version of the, some of them games, and they are not on there unless they are the demo. So I'm telling you right now, on your Nintendo Wii U, if you have one still, I'd encourage you guys to get every single demo you can get from that console. I'm telling you now, I'm talking about Maiden in Black Water and a few of the other games. The main one is Maiden in Black Water Fatal Frame because that game is worth £100 and if you just get the demo, that's just as good because you have a little bit of a taste of a very rare, expensive game. But as well as that though, there are other games on there that you can download on the Nintendo Wii U, like Shanty, the um, Pirate, um, it's, it's something of the Pirates. They're selling it for £16. As a physical copy, there's only a physical copy of it as a Nintendo 3DS game, and that is £75. Wow! What a deal! That is actually a great, a fucking good deal, ladies and gentlemen. So if you guys are into Shanty, get yourself downloading that as soon as. It's definitely worth it. There's also Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. It's actually one of the most expensive um, Legend of Zeldas on the Wii U. Now, a lot of people may disagree with that, and it's Breath of the Wild and also, um, also um, Twilight Princess. But this one's actually not bad. It's £20 on the Wii U as a download, as a physical form it is £30, unless you got the figurine with it, and the figurine boosts that game up to £150. So yeah, that's eye-watering ladies and gentlemen, very much eye-watering. The next one I'm going to say is DuckTales HD Remastered. They're selling it on the Wii U eShop for £13.49, and a physical version of this game is 38 quid. Oh my goodness, that's insane! The next one, Fatal Frame 2, the Wii Edition. This is the only way you can get the Wii Edition now. And you can get it for £17.99, but as a physical version, it is £50 in the UK. Wow, that's a lot of money. Well, once again, it's a big steal, so go ahead and get it. And like I said, people, I'm going to tell you as well, I'm going to show you a picture as well on what the games look like so you guys know what you're looking for. And also, I'll leave in the description down below on what games I've been talking about and giving you a prize range of it all. And like I said, I've already talked about Fatal Frame Made in a Black Water. There is only a demo of that game on the eShop, so the best thing to do is to get the demo, of course. A physical version of that game is around about at least £100. It might have dropped now because of the remaster on the PS4 and the Nintendo Switch. Next one is a very obscure game, which is Tesla Guard. They're selling it for £13.99. A physical version of that is £70. Wow! I've not heard of this game before, but when I researched it recently on eBay and also our UK shop CEX, the price of that game is quite eye-watering, so I'd encourage you guys to go ahead and get a digital download of that game before it goes bye-bye. The next one is the cream of the crop. I have never seen a game so damn cheap on this console, and the physical version is eye-watering, and that is Jeff Tail Finn. A physical version of this game is £50, but for download, it is only £4.49. 
That is an absolute steal, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm telling you right now, get yourself buying this game. I'm telling you now, get it. And I'm telling you the truth now, all these games I'm telling you right now, I've actually gone ahead and bought them and I've downloaded them on my consoles. And as well, also my 3DS as well. So you guys will know what I've been buying and how much I've saved. And the last one I put down as well for to buy on the Wii U is Metroid Prime Trilogy on the Nintendo Wii. This is for the Wii U, but it's the Wii game. They're selling it for £17.99 and recently it sold for 80 freaking pounds. That is insane, people. That is eye-watering. So you can see how much I've saved right now. Now, just to tell you truthfully, people, there are other rare games on the Wii U, like um, Phoebe and Fab. I keep forgetting their names. They're a Disney um, duo. Um, the game is around about £120-ish, around about there. It's extinct on the eShop. You can't get it. There's no other way you can get it unless somehow you hack the system. I doubt you can nowadays. But the other thing, though, is what's not to buy on this e on the eShop on the Wii U. Now, tell you truthfully, do not buy anything that is brand spanking new because they'll be selling them for about £40 to £50 to even £60 for a game. It's not worth it. I'm 100% telling you truthfully, do not buy them games. If you see someone that's over 40 to 50 to 60 pound, don't buy them because they are definitely overpriced for what they are. Now, how much I spent on the Wii U games that I've downloaded? I spent 105 pounds for my download games. But as a physical version, if I bought them all as physicals, I would have been paying 493 pounds. That's a massive profit for my own self. So that's the Wii U, ladies and gentlemen. The next one is a big one, a massive big one. The Nintendo 3DS. I love this handheld console, I really do. I find it one of my favorite handheld consoles I ever owned. I love it to death. And to be honest, their eShop is insane, ladies and gentlemen. Literally, concentrate now, people. Write these down, and like I said, I will type them down in the description down below so you know what you need to buy if you're like me as a gamer. First off, let's talk about the Pokemon Bank. It's free, people. You can instantly download it. I'm telling you now to download it before March 2023. I know this is super, super advanced at the moment, but I want you to get it done now. When you've downloaded it, do not apply a subscription. Now, the subscription you have to pay for, don't do it. Only download it and then wait for the, exp the expiry date of the eShop. When the expiry date finishes on the eShop, the Pokemon Home um, subscription will become free. That's right. So that means you can now transfer all your Pokemon from your 3DS games to Pokemon Bank, then from Pokemon Bank to Pokemon Home, and then from Pokemon Home to Pokemon Sword and Shield, to Pokemon Arceus, wherever on your Nintendo Switch. It's the best thing to do, it's the best thing to have. So I'm telling you now, get it downloaded if you're a massive Pokemon fan like I am, and don't buy the subscription unless you wanna get it over and done with as soon as before it all closes down. But for me, I'm gonna wait for it until it comes fully free. I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> the next one, all the demos, once again, buy all the demos on the 3DS. It's worth it. If you haven't got enough space, buy yourself another card, install them, take it out and get another one and keep doing it because some of them demos are actually quite rare games. And once again, they're just like Fatal Frame made on Black Water. The physical game is extremely expensive, but also the digital download of that version of that game is expired and has been extinct and no longer on the eShop. The only demo is there. So get them all. Next one is a very rare game, which is Senran Kagura 2 Deep Crimson. This game on the eShop is $24.99, but as a physical version, is £145, ladies and gentlemen. I can't tell you anything else. That is ridiculous, people. It's a hell of a steal. Get it bought right now, people. I know a lot of you guys can't pay for this money or you don't own these consoles, but it's made to the people who are gamers like myself who own a 3DS and want to get the rare games. 
This is the best thing to get. Senran Kagura 2 Deep Crimson, $24.99 instead of it being a physical copy for £145. Get it bought, people, like I have. Next one is Shin Megami Tensei Devil Summoner Overclock. Once again, it is a $29.99 game. It's a little bit more expensive, but a physical version is £120. So once again, get it done, buy it, play it. It's awesome. I enjoy it. I actually got a physical copy of this game as well, but I wanted to buy a digital download of it so I can keep stop opening the box too many times. <clears throat> Next one is Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse. I don't own this game. I wish I did. It is also $26.99 and it is a £95 as a physical copy. So once again, it's a good deal. I would definitely encourage you to buy it if you're a Shin Megami Tensei fan. Another Shin Megami Tensei game, Strange Journey, $26.99 again. It is also a £90 game as a physical copy. So once again, get it bought, have it in your Nintendo 3DS. You're, you're making money for your console, people. Your console is going to be freaking expensive for the amount of games that's going to be on it. Next up, you got Devil um, Devil Survivor 2 Record Breaker, another Shin Megami Tensei game. This one is actually $34.99, almost a £40 mark, but as well, it is a £55 physical game. It's just about breaking even, but it's just as good to have, because if you want all the Shin Megami Tensei games, you got to get it. <coughs> Next up, the most cheapest Shin Megami Tensei game I have ever seen in my life, Soul Hackers. They're selling it for $8.99. What the fuck? Oh my god. And recently I've seen it in, in um, thrift shops or secondhand shops or also CEX in the UK for £50. That's a must. It's a must. $8.99 instead of it being 50 quid. You can't say no to that. You really can't. Get it done, get it bought, have it in your 3DS. Next up, Yokai Watch. Now, a lot of people don't like the anime, a lot of people don't like the game, but if you want the rare stuff, you got to get it. It is $34.99 as a digital download. A physical copy is £100, so I went ahead and bought that myself again. Next up is Radiant Historia. Now, there is about two or three games of this, and it has the region margin of £26.99. And the physical game, the physical games are region between 80 to 88 pounds for each game. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, that's insane. And it's the same thing as well for Eterna Odyssey games. They were all selling for around about the same margin as 26.99, and they sell recently around about 80 pounds as well. Oh, MFG people, do you know how much I've saved? It's insane. But before I do say what I saved. There are some games that I'm encouraging guys do not buy on the 3DS. And the main ones are, do not buy any Pokemon games. I'm telling you now, don't buy them. Unless they are the old games, like Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Yellow, you know, the Game Boy versions, because they are only $8.99. They're worth it. However, like games like Pokemon Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon, X and Y, they're still selling for about $39.99, 40 quid. And I know in CX, they're selling them just a little under. So it's not worth it, don't buy them. The other ones are Legend of Zelda games. Yes, as well, Legend of Zelda games are not really worth buying. There is like one or two of them knocking about that's actually quite worth it. Like, once again, the Game Boy games, like $8.99 ones or the $7.99 ones. But they're all right. I'm talking about... The remasters of Ocarina of Time, or Majora's Mask, or any of the others. They're still ha full price and they're not worth it. You can easily buy them cheaper in CX and also on eBay. And the other one, which is, a, which is a surprise for myself, is Fire Emblem. Don't buy Fire Emblem right now on the eShop. It's, not, it's overpriced, it's not worth it. You can actually get it cheaper in the wild. So that's pretty much what I want to say. Now, how much did I spend on my 3DS games as my download? I spent £240, okay, on my Nintendo 3DS on these games. However, if I bought these games as a physical copy, I would have, I would have had to spend £823. Oh my god, that's insane, a lot of money! Now, once again, a grand total roll-up. 
Altogether, I spent £345 on Wii U games and 3DS games for digital downloads. But if I spent every ounce of it as a physical copy, which still I would love to try and do because I like collecting them, I would have had to spend £1,316 for the physical copies of these games, not including the extra games from Radiant Historia and Eternal Odyssey. I've only counted them as one version, but it would have been worth more. So altogether, I have saved, for my own money, £973, ladies and gentlemen. I almost saved a grand for just buying these games as digital downloads instead of them being physical copies. So what's not else to say, people? And just to tell you truthfully, people, there are other games in that on them on the eShops on both the Wii U and the 3DS that I couldn't tell you about because I was going to be doing this for hours and hours. All I say to you is, on the 3DS, if you know the game is made by a company called Atlas, buy it. They are a rare company, they're the ones who make Persona and they make also insane JRPG games and they hold value. On the Wii U, on the Wii U, all I say to you is, is to research the most high value games on eBay and also a shop called CEX in the UK. I don't know if you have them in America and see how much they sell them for. Then type them away on the eShop and you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll thank me later. I'm telling you truthfully right now because I want you guys to get the best deals of all time like I have. I almost saved almost a thousand pound people. What can I say? I'm a hell of a hustler when it comes to getting cheap games. Hopefully this all helps you out people. I will talk a little bit more about Pokemon Home in another video. With that being said, the people I'm going to to you guys for subscribing and I hope to see you guys with some new games for your Wii U and your 3DS. RIP Nintendo eShop. Cheerio!